Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. So I'll get to the gas price shortly, but here's a hint. You may not need to rush to the gas station today. But before that, the Economic Program Oversight Committee, EPOC, has credited the government for its approach to disaster risk financing. Chairman of EPOC, Keith Duncan, says the country has taken a multi-layered approach to guarding against risks. The recent rains caused millions of dollars in damage to infrastructure across the island, and the opposite, drought, saw a decline in agricultural output earlier this year. Chairman of EPOC Keith Duncan says, however, the local safeguards against risks are in good standing. Putting in funds in place to um, ensure that we have coverage of the, uh, the low and high frequency events, as we said. I think everybody gets that. Floods, heavy rainfall, hurricanes and earthquakes. The GOJ also maintains a national disaster fund capitalized at 465 million, million Jamaican as at end June 2023 and a contingent and contingency funds which at end June 23 um, amounted to $5 billion. The government has also placed an international development bank contingent line of credit which provides access to 285 million U.S. dollars. In addition to those facilities, in 2021, Jamaica secured a catastrophe bond, which provides protection of up to 185 million U.S. dollars against losses from named storms. There is also another policy under the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facilities Segregated Portfolio Company for the current fiscal year. This insurance policy um, protects against uh, tropical cyclone or hurricanes, earthquake and excess rainfall events. Total coverage under this policy for 2023-24 amounts to US 233.9 million. Let's head to those gas prices now. If you guessed it, most fuel prices will decline effective tomorrow. And here are the details. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for $3.06 less. Diesel and ultra-low sulfur diesel will decline by $4.50. $4.50 will also be shaved off the cost of kerosene. Propane will, however, increase by $2.72, while butane will sell for $3.06 more. Now, each gas station will make these adjustments to their rates, which includes a markup on the ex-refinery rate offered by Petrojana. And to the foreign currency market, the U.S. dollar is selling for an average $156.68. $115.76 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $196.73, while the euro is selling for $171.07 on average. And the JSE index gained 1,117 points today, while the junior market index increased by 47 points. Among the 42 winners were G West Corporation, PBS 9.75% shares, Blue Power Group, Medical Disposables and Supplies Limited, and Caribbean Assurance Brokers, CAB. The 42 losers were led by Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican Dollar Shares, Margaritaville Turks US Dollar Shares, Sig Sagicor Select Fund Manufacturing and Distribution, Proven Group, and Sibony Group. Now 18 stocks closed the session at the same price they started trading this morning. And that's the business day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.